Welcome back to another tutorial in the Coil Draw course for beginners. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the eyedropper tool. Now, the eyedropper tool allows you to copy the colors from one shape or object to other shapes. So, what I'm going to do is select the eyedropper tool, then come and hover over here. Now, I want to select. You can choose which color you want to select. So you can choose the blue color or the green color. So let's first select green color and apply that to our little square over here. And we can see the color has changed. So again, I'll come back, select the tool. So let's just deselect the tool again. Let's select the blue color and apply it to our shape over here. So that's how the eyedropper tool basically works. So just hit Control Z. Now let's look at another feature, uh, another feature that's really cool with the eyedropper tool. So if I click and hold over here, you can see we have the attributes eyedropper. If I select that, it comes with properties at the top. So the attributes eyedropper allows you to copy the properties, the transformation, and the effects of one shape or object to another. So basically, you'll be able to copy the outline, the fill, and the text if you have in from one shape to another. So let's just see how that works out. So I'll just deselect that. So we select that and then we paste it over here. You can see it has changed the fill and the outline to look similar to this one. And it will do that for any shape that you have. So if you come here, let's do that. Select that again. So regardless of the shape, it will change its outline and the fill color to be the same as the first shape. Now I'll hit Control Z. Now I want to change the size of the shape. So again, what I'll do is come to Transformation and select Size. So once that is done, if I click here, I've copied the size of the shape. The fill color and the outline and if I say click on here you can see the size has changed not only the fill color the outline but also the size has changed and this will happen to even this one so if I click here you can see it was a large square but now it's been taken down into our rectangle so let's do the same with this the ellipses shape we have over here so you can see these two are perfect circles, but this is an ellipsis too. So I'm just going to select this. And if I click here, you can see it will change the shape and size of that. The, the size that is of that object and the fill color as well as the outline color. And this will be similar to also this one. So go ahead and have fun using those tools. Uh, practice them and see how that will work out for you.